My name is Senator Mohamed Ali Ndume, representing Borno South. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, I have a motion here titled the Introduction of Food Stamps in Nigeria as an interim measure to address eminent food insecurity in the country. The Senate notes that the unveiling of October 23rd Kadir Harmonize analysis on food security, it was projected that in 2024, Nigeria is expecting to see about 26.5 million people grappling with high level of food security. By the way, Kadir Harmonize analysis is the unified tool for consensual analysis of acute food and nutrition insecurity in the Sahel and West Africa. And before I go on, distinguished colleagues, you can Google food stamps right away on your handset to have a better understanding of what the food stamp means because it's being practiced in America. Further notes that the reason for the above projection is not far-fetched as several indicators, which include but not limited to ongoing conflicts across the country, climate change impacts, escalating inflation as witnessed in recent times, and rising costs of both food and essential non-food commodities due to fall of Naira in the exchange market. Worried that many hungry and angry Nigerians have been expressing their frustration and anger over the recent increase in food prices by demonstrating on the streets in several cities across the country. You know, we witnessed one even today in the morning, right in front of the National Assembly. Aware that in other countries like United States of America, food stamp, which is a government-issued coupon that is given to low-income and non-income person and is redeemable for food have been used since 1939, not actually 1933. Since 1939 to date as a measure to cushion the resultant hardships and sufferings on the poor and less privileged as well as low income earners. And concerned that the clamor, for, the clamor for wage increase and work support cannot alone guarantee a more effective way of addressing food security, insecurity without introduction of time-tested public assistance program as contemplated by this motion with particular emphasis on the need for immediate food support across the country. I want to say here that the labor people that are outside in total are not up to 1.5 million against 26 million that are exposed to food insecurity. Accordingly, resolve to urge the federal government to introduce the Nigerian version of food stamps program as an interventionist measure to cushion the effect of food insecurity shortage in the country. And two, to mandate the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security to liaise with development partners, the Committee on Agriculture, and other relevant stakeholders, especially a tested one that is known as Lagos Food Bank Initiative, which was introduced, I think, in 2016. They have what they call temporary food uh, assistance program a few years ago. This is with the view to working out practicable templates and implementable modalities for the actualization of the program through public and private partnership initiative. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, I so move. And before I do that, Mr. President, sir, when I moved this motion, I wrote this motion last week, all our members, most of them, you know, asked me to include their name. And therefore, I'm, uh, the clerk should, for today, except for those that are not in support of the motion, should include their name as co-sponsors of this motion and should be reflected in our vote and proceedings for tomorrow. Thank you, Senator 
Ekpeyong. Asupo Ekpeyong, Senator representing Koshira South. I rise to second this motion, Mr. President. Please, may I make some further remarks on this? Thank you very much. I rise to second the motion and also as a co-sponsor, I uh, indicated interest and I'm a co-sponsor to this motion. This motion is very timely indeed, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. The state of affairs in the nation requires desperate intervention in this area. Uh, you, we can see by the numbers where we are looking at 26.5 million people that may end up being uh, short of food items, that we are heading towards a humanitarian crisis. It is of essential duty of the federal government of Nigeria to intervene as a matter of urgency. All I ask is that during the process of the development of this food stamp, that certain guardrails and procedures and processes are put in place such that these food stamps do not get, um, do not go the way of uh, previous interventions, whether in the ways of subsidy, whereby the people who need it the most end up not benefiting from it. That is the process I think that uh, the Senate can guide most especially on. Thank you, Mr. President. Added as a co-sponsor of this uh, motion. Mr. President, there can be no better time than now to think out of the box to provide for the ordinary Nigerian when it comes to food security. Mr. President, some of the demonstrations and protests that I have seen outside there is born out of actually a genuine concern for the survival of the ordinary Nigerian. And having regard to previous attempts at identifying vulnerable Nigerians that are entitled to some of these po policy benefits of government has become a very serious problem. Mr. President, you will recall that in the previous, in the previous administration, uh, during the 10th Senate, there was this accusation of a minister of state who cornered more than 70% of the allocations to vulnerable persons in our society. And we had a running battle with that minister of state in the, in the Senate here. And if you look at, again, the arguments going forward and forth about the activities of these agencies that are responsible for catering for the ordinary Nigerian, then, of course, you know that there is a dire need for us to develop a system that is near foolproof, that can provide for the ordinary Nigerian. Mr. President, you won't be surprised. And I told one of my colleagues recently, a constituent of mine begged me to send him 1,000 Naira to be able to buy Gary to drink. That is how bad our situation is. And so it will be a historical uh, achievement of this administration if we find a foolproof arrangement to provide for the ordinary Nigerian if the American government can do it, then we can also do it. And the place to start with is the representative of the people. Because the question that we have been asking is, how have they come to identify vulnerable persons in my Benue South Senatorial District or in Ubukulu, for that matter, without my knowledge, without the knowledge of the councillor, without the knowledge of the member of the House of uh, Assembly? So, Your Excellency, let us give very serious thought to this motion and encourage the executive to adopt it as a working document to provide for the ordinary Nigerian. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator. The tension that's rising in the land because of our hunger. Mr. President, we'll observe that we as senators and lawmakers are the receiving end of the anger in the society. When we interact with our constituents, we go to our areas to interact with the people. It's actually very lamentable that today, you see somebody calling in the morning or in the afternoon, in the night to say, ah, they have not eaten for the past two, three days. I can understand the implications of that. The person who is dying by, by hunger, and who is angry, will not mind to die by the bullet. And so if we're able to provide this uh, uh, food stamp in Nigeria, it will go a very long way to help the downtrodden, help the less privileged, and there'll be peace in the land. Food security has to security of lives and property. And so I want to support this motion. And I want to plead with our colleagues to also support it. That will be better, it will be better off in society. The society will be safe for us. The society will have food to eat. 
the food we have is just like the, the fuel we have in the engine. Without the food, we cannot do anything. Thank you, Mr. President, for the opportunity. You represent the good and decent people of Kwara North. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, hunger is in the land. It's very bad, like the minority leader have said. Every one of us here will get text messages every minute for little money to survive. This motion is so apt, and I think that, uh, Mr. President, we have to find a way of making sure we achieve the objective of this, which is getting this food to those who need it. So I'm back again, like I've earlier argued, our only problem in Nigeria, we still come back. How do we coordinate this? How do we make sure people comply? And how do we ensure there's a consequence of those who try to abuse this system? Like we know anything program you bring to Nigeria, some other people are waiting to take advantage of that program. People will find a way of moving that food to try to sell. But if we have a foolproof system to ensure that only those who need it get this food, it will be very helpful. And to do that is very simple. We have, like the minority leader have said, representatives of the people from Senate, governors down to councillor level, that's the political structure. We also have religious structures in most societies. We have traditional cultural structures in most societies. And most importantly, data and technology can be helpful. We can find a way of getting people's name, their telephone number, and triangulate it and join it together so that you cannot take advantage and have double ration or try to use it for something else. Thank, Thank you, you Senator Yayi. Thank you, Mr. Smith of the Federal Republic. Mr. President, let me commend the mover of this motion. And I believe is the right thing that as a country we have to put in place. I know already the government of the day, in any, mo any moment from now, we commence payment of over 12 billion naira to 12 million vulnerable Nigerians. And I know the process is on. But with this kind of motion, specifying that a food stamp be made available to the vulnerable ones. I want to thank Senator Sadiq, who have given an insight into how do we ensure that this food stamp that we are asking the government to put in place gets to the right people. That is the main cross of the matter. We must, if we have put up a motion supporting this and sending it to the executive, the question now is how do we achieve this? from over 200 million populations. That shows our data, our statistics must be in place and must be up there for us to get the actual number of vulnerable Nigerians that are in their need of this full stamp. I am in support, but the right mechanism, the right um, um, uh, 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 the right things must be put in place to ensure that the money actually gets, or the food stamp actually gets to the vulnerable Nigerians who are in their need of it. That is the only cross that we need to address as far as this motion is concerned. But as far as the motion is concerned, I'm in support, total support of it, and I want the government to put this food stamp in place for the benefit of the vulnerable Nigerians. Thank you, Mr. President. People, very least and downtrodden in the society that depends on the government to support them in order to survive. If the United States of America with everything finds full stand as one way of reaching to the downtrodden, I believe with the right mechanism in Nigeria, we can also adopt the same. Most times you will see trucks of grains going out from our silos, our strategic reserves, but they never get to the downtrodden. Those that need this food, it never gets to them. When those trucks came, I mean, comes out of the silos of that storage facility, only God knows where they go. But if this system is adopted, whereby 
I am a beneficiary of this, and I have my stamp, which I will present at every strategic location that has been identified for that purpose, and be able to be served. I think it will serve the purpose at which the government is trying to alleviate. The, and the issue of food security will actually be sustained. So the best thing is doing this and making sure that there is sustainability in it. That I think when we do that, we will get it right. So I support this uh, uh, motion wholeheartedly, and I believe that my colleagues will also do the same. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I think what Food Stamps Program as an interventionist major to cushion the effects of food insecurity, stroke shortage in the country. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Mandate the Federal Ministry of Agriculture to liaise with development partners and other relevant stakeholders, especially the Lagos Food Bank Initiative, which introduced temporary food assistance program, TEFAP, a few years ago. This is with a view to working out practicable templates and implementable modalities for the actualization of the program through public and private partnership PP initiative. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Amendment, the minus leader. Thank you, distinguished Senator Mohammed Alain Deme for bringing forward this motion. Um, it is well received by all and sundry and well contributed to uh, is something that uh, will help uh, in dealing uh, with our zeal to assist the poor of the poor in this country. Uh, whatever major that is brought forward to assist the poor, the vulnerable, should be welcome. And this is welcome. Uh, the Senate is open to every suggestion, every initiative, Anything, anything, any measure at all that will help in alleviating um, or making life better uh, for our team in population uh, is something that should be welcome. And we welcome this uh, initiative by no other person, by the Chief Whip of uh, the Senate and former uh, leader of the Senate. Uh, we commend you for this wonderful motion. Um, leader of the Senate.